Good morning from Shinoseki. Uh, I last posted that I was in the Shimokita Peninsula. That was up in Aomori Prefecture. It's been a few days. So I'll just give you a brief recap of kind of what I've been doing and there'll be photos or whatever. Uh, I went to Osorezan uh, in the Shimokita Peninsula. Uh, that was actually my last night in Aomori uh, City. I returned to Aomori from uh, Jinoe, I mean from uh, Shimokita, spent the night and then uh, I caught the train to Hachinohe, which is out on the Pacific coast. Um, I was, I only kind of went around the Tani, I went out to the coast, uh, Tanisashi coastline, which is supposed to be quite nice. And it was quite pleasant. I was really tired, so I didn't do much that day. I just went out to cycle the coast about 20 miles, maybe pretty easy pedaling. I wasn't burdened with a lot of my luggage. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like Hachinohe initially. It's a very industrial city, but, uh, I think. I, as I cycled into the older parts of town, it was much more pleasant. Uh, the Shinkansen stations uh, are often kind of on the outskirts, kind of in the, it was kind of sprawly, but uh, Hachinohe itself in the old area was quite nice. Uh, I got up at four o'clock in the morning the next day, loaded my bike and uh, I cycled about four or five hours down to a city called Kuji along the coast, which was my plan. Uh, it was quite hot. Uh, the humidity was quite high. Uh, so that was a little bit, that took a lot out of me. Uh, from Kuji, I caught the train to Kamaishi, where I stayed at a very you know, kind of old school inn. Um, that was also quite nice. I didn't do much in Kamaishi. Uh, the owner was quite gracious. He made a reservation for me at a izakaya because I told him I hadn't really had yakitori. So without telling me, he made a reservation and he walked me over and introduced me to the owner. So that was cool. Um, the next morning, uh, well, Kamaishi itself is a steel town. So it was a bit industrial, but it's quite nice. It was also, I also visited the uh, Dai Kanon, the great Kanon of uh, Kamaishi. Uh, felt a bit touristy, but that's fine. You know, uh, I didn't have much, there wasn't much else to do. Uh, Kamaishi was hit quite hard by the tsunami, uh, but uh, you know, looks like they've recovered. Several of the World Cup rugby matches were supposed to be held there, but uh, apparently there was a typhoon, so none of the matches, the owner was telling me none of the matches really could take place, so it was kind of a big letdown. They were expecting a big uh, tourist rush, but I, I guess it never came. Anyway, I went to... From Hachinoe, I, I had two choices. I could continue down the course, down the coast. So I'm just moving away because the announcement is coming. I could go down the coast, continue down the coast to Kesenuma. But I took a look at the route and it was quite hilly and I was quite kind of tired. I, I just didn't want to deal with that. So I caught the train inland to Ichinoseki and Hiraizumi, which I've been to before. Uh, Hiraizumi was, I think, in the 900s or something a long time ago. Uh, it was a rival to Kyoto, so that's why I went there. There's some old buildings and things that I kind of wanted to see. Uh, I've been there before in college. I went back again just because I couldn't think of anything better to do, and it was only about an hour and a half. Uh, from the coast. Uh, this morning, got up again. I'm catching the train to Sendai and then I'm going to cycle out to Matsushima. Um, Matsushima is on the coast again. And then uh, I will be staying in Sendai. 